Hello, this is Captain Chaudhary. I'm going to speak about uh, north-south speed error. This error is uh, common with both the types of gyros that is gyro that is damped in tilt or gyro that is damped in azimuth. North-south speed error is because of the north-south component in the speed. In the speed, if you have north-south component, then you will have this error. If the ship's course is precisely 90 or 270 then what happens is the ship speed adds up with the earth's rotational speed and it does not cause any uh, error. This error is possible only if there is some north-south element in the ship's course and speed. Some people call it core speed error etc. You don't have to call it. You may just say north-south speed error because if you don't have north-south element in your ship's speed this error will not come in. Now, uh, how it happens, let us uh, understand. Uh, if I may represent the Earth's rotational speed at a particular latitude as 902.5 cos latitude, right? And if a ship is making a certain a course which is given by this angle and ship speed is V, right? Then the speed component in north-south direction would be so much from here to here and that is V cos course. Now you can see that the ship speed has got a north-south component that is V cos course. If I want to find out the resultant then I will have to make a parallelogram, right? And this diagonal represents the effective component that is along the diagonal. Now the diagonal represents is the resultant of V and 902.5 cos L. As I told you in my first lecture that a gyro is like a robot. But the robot is told to try and detect the direction of east-west rotation of the earth. So if the ship does not move or if the ship does not have north-south speed what happens is Jaro feels that the earth is rotating in this fashion and I must show the meridian. I must show the north. But now what happens is Jaro gets confused because of this velocity and now now the resultant of V and 902.5 cos L that is the speed of the ship and the earth's rotational speed in that particular latitude the resultant is represented by this diagonal and the gyro is confused now. Gyro feels that earth is rotating in this direction. So gyro shows the axle a direction perpendicular to the diagonal. That means if this angle is delta, this angle is also delta and delta is nothing but north-south speed error because of the ship going in a particular direction. Now if we want to find out delta we need to construct a right angle triangle. In the right angle triangle what I do is I drop a perpendicular from the end of the diagonal. This particular part is same as this part that is V sine cos and this particular side is V cos cos. So as you can see tan delta is equal to <clears throat> opposite upon adjacent so V cos cos upon 902.5 cos L plus V sine cos. Now you can see that uh, the speed has got a northerly component and as a general rule we can uh, follow this formula for all the courses, courses in all the quadrants. All we have to do is we have to put the course in a three digit fashion. There will be always plus in the denominator and at the end whatever delta we get we neglect the sign plus or minus. What we say is on all the northerly courses the north-south speed error is westerly and all the southerly courses north-south speed error is easterly. Or what we can do is we can put the course in three digit format put the plus sign here always and if we get negative answer negative would be easterly error and positive would be westerly error. That is also possible but it's better to remember that on all northerly courses you have north-south speed error that is westerly and all the southerly courses 
that means if the course has got speed has got southerly component then north south speed error is uh, easterly now this is to show the formula for the north south speed error if the course is in first quadrant we can also uh, draw the courses in uh, a few more quadrants and see if there are any changes caused to the basic formula for the north south speed error now let's say that the ship's course is in southwesterly quadrant once again if this side represents the earth's rotational speed that is 902.5 cos l this is v and if we complete the parallelogram we get a parallelogram like this if this is v then this being the quadrantal course we can say that this is v cos course and this is v sin course that means the ship speed can be resolved in two perpendicular components v cos course which is the adjacent side and v sin course the other one the diagonal formed is this way now and we want to find out this angle because this is going to be delta to do that i drop a perpendicular from the end of diagonal uh, this is the right angle triangle we have to deal with this is the diagonal representing the apparent east west motion of the earth and a direction perpendicular to that will be a direction in which the axle will lie and this particular error which is easterly error in this case is north south speed error now north south speed error as per this right angle triangle is this opposite upon adjacent tan delta is opposite upon adjacent opposite being v cos course and uh, the distance from here to here is 902.5 cos l the distance up to here will be 902.5 cos l minus v sin course so uh, what we get now the formula which we get now is tan delta is equal to v cos course upon 902.5 cos l minus v sin course this way the students should practice trying to find this formula for all the four quadrants of courses and in all the situations whatever may be the formula you may say that in the formula we will put course in three digits denominator will be positive and at the end we have to just remember one thing that for all northerly courses the error is westerly and for all the southerly courses the error is easterly now let us do a few numerical uh, just to understand this formula right and uh, we'll also do the numerical where why we understand the relationship between the two formulae the first formula that we did in respect of the error number one was tamping error in degrees is equal to 57.3 rho tan latitude and this is the second formula if we say the general formula that would be tan delta is equal to v cos course upon 902.5 cos l plus v sin course right so uh, let's do a numerical now let us say that there is a ship which is uh, on a course of 0 uh, 38 degrees true at 18 knots the latitude is uh, 47 degrees north right this gyro on the ship is jammed in tilt and what is done is both the characters are uh, inadvertently set to zero that means they are not being applied so what happens is the error that will be reflected by the gyro will be the combination of the first and second error that is uh, mm, north south speed error and damping error now what happens is on these mechanical gyros we have two characters which are there in the uh, unit one is latitude character and other one is speed character latitude and speed characters are to be adjusted from time to time depending on what is the latitude and what is the speed now these characters when they are set to zero what will happen is the gyro will show both the errors that is north south speed error as well as damping error now this uh, ship with the gyro damped in tilt is in latitude 47 degrees north course 38 at 18 knots now what will be the damping error 
it seems that in spite of the characters being not applied the axel was found in meridian which means that the axel was showing 0 0 0 which means that error number one has cancelled error number two that means damping error was equal and opposite to north south speed error damping error because the vessel is in north latitude northern hemisphere damping error is easterly and that is going to be rho into 57.3 into tan latitude north south speed error will be given by this expression tan delta is equal to uh, v cos scores that means 18 cos 38 divided by 902.5 cos latitude plus 18 sin 38 degrees now let's try to solve this 18 into cosine of 38 degrees equal to divide by bracket starts 902.5 into cosine of 47 degrees plus 18 into sine 38 degrees bracket close equal to inverse tan equal to 1.296 or 297 delta is equal to 1.297 degrees west west because the ship is on northerly course therefore we can say that damping error is uh, 1.297 degrees east that means rho is equal to 1.297 divided by 57.3 into tan of latitude so let us find rho then 1.297 divided by bracket starts 57.3 into tan of latitude 47 degrees 0 0.021 so in this example we have uh, uh, seen both the errors being applied to the gyro and uh, in a situation like this where the axle showed zero that means axle showed no error we are able to find out the value of rho that is 0 0.021 degrees